time for a little deep breathing. Deep breathing. I think I said that correctly. <laughs> so I'm doing this instead of instead of talking to my friend. But to be fair, my friends are currently at work and I love how I'm using plural when it's just one person I really want to talk to right now, but that's fine. Anyways, I've been home for a little bit and from college. Oh. <laughs> and it's been a roller coaster, mainly because I have all my friends, even the one I really want to talk to, he's probably the closest one right now to me, and that's a six and a half hour drive. And then the next closest people are like a day drive to 15, 12 hours of a drive. Of course, it'll be quicker with plane, but I want to be able to drive my friends around. And it's also hard. It's, it's hard knowing that God has a plan and God is like making sure the plan happens when, like, in my hometown, there's no one to talk to. There's, like, no one my age. Of course, I have my parents. Um, in a little bit, my brother's about to be back home so that'll be great but and of course i have my dog but besides that there isn't anyone like i the only time i leave the house is if i'm doing something for my parents like errands uh if i need to get something if i want to get food it when my mom says it's like okay that i could go get food because i you always gotta double check that your mom's not cooking dinner or cooking a meal because mm, don't upset your mom by getting takeout when she made a meal. Mm -mm. I done that once or twice. Um, or when I'm basically going to a workout class and or another time I leave the house is honestly just going on walks in my neighborhood or going for a run and that's not always fun. Like, I want to go somewhere. So I think tomorrow I'm going to drive to a park and just take my Bible and read it there. Because I, the friend I want to talk to, he does that a little bit. Like, he spends his time with God outside of his house. And that sparked an idea for me. And he does it towards like around sunset, so maybe I'll do the same. And not initially copy him, but at least like try it out. Um, but it sucks not having people to hang out with because humans were made to be social and sure i have work and all that but it's not the same like sure it'll keep me busy for a little bit but i don't want my whole days just to be work when it's the summer and of course i'm doing like some summer courses but that that's only for like by the time july hits around there is no more summer courses and then from like july till school starts up again I don't have major plans, except for like one week off because there's this event happening, so, um, and even though today and last week, was it last week? Yeah, last week I'm going, I went and I'm going to another conference, those are, honestly, I'm the youngest person there, like, last week's conference the speaker uh saw me in the audience and he's like um how old are you and i'm like 19 or at that time i was still 18 and 
I forget that. I'm 19 now. <laughs> and it's just like, sure, it's great that I'm the youngest, but also, like, I don't really have anyone to connect with. And also, I want to be friends with other religious people, so other Christians who actually want a good relationship with God because I've been friends with people that state that they're Christians but they don't practice they don't practice it all they do is go to church and that's it and that's not fun because I'm like because here's me wanting to get closer to God trying to do all these things and then there's people telling me oh you don't have to go to church oh you don't have to do that oh you know you could skip it this one time it's fine and I'm just like if you keep hearing that this happened when I was at college this year I had no one to go to church with so I went for a little bit but it felt so weird I felt like I wasn't wanted there um so I stopped going at that time and I stopped going for a little bit and it hurt because I would ask people and they're like, uh, I don't really want to go. And then I'm like, are you really my friend? If you wouldn't, it's not like I was asking the same person. I was asking a variety of people, hey, can you just go with me for an hour to church on Sunday? And every time I, no matter who I asked, it was just no. And I was like, if you were really my friend, you would have took an hour out of your day to do something. Even if you don't really like it, as long as it isn't bad, you would do it. And, and keep in mind, these, the people I were asking were people that stated that they were Christian. I wasn't asking people that are, were against church. I was just asking Christians and these people didn't, it hurt. That's, that's all I'm going to say because I realized those are not the people that really care about me. Cause if they care, you would do something that seems so small to you. But it's such a big thing to me. And some of you may think this is nothing. That I'm just overreacting. Or I'm overanalyzing this. Overthinking. I'm not. Because. I know my situation. I know my life. Maybe not as much as like God understands it. Because God knows it to a different level. Than I will probably ever understand. And that's, I'm just being real with that. But I know the events that have occurred. I know the journeys. I know the relationships I've had. I know how many people walked in and out. I know how many people betrayed me. I know how many people actually try or have tried to make my life a little bit better. Um, and then like, yeah. I know people who have acted differently towards me and then acted their true selves to other people when they talked about me. So I know when people, most of the time, I know when someone's talking about me behind my back. Um, because it's obvious after sometimes. And I know the people who really want to be in my life and who don't. And right now, besides my immediate family is kind of hard to see who wants to be in my life. <sighs> it's hard. But I think the hardest part right now is just not having anybody close. Like, physically in distance. Like, a, even a 10 mile drive. And I don't want to cry in another video, but it just sucks. <laughs> and I'm just playing with anything that comes into my sight. <sighs> but yeah. That's this week's vlog. And yeah, it was a little bit... It wasn't as cheerful as I typically like my videos to be. Be, but this is a side of life that I don't think many people share or many people don't talk about many people don't 
what's the word that they don't they don't acknowledge that it happens they just show you the good things and it, there's nothing wrong showing the good things but you also have to be realistic when the not so great things do show up and i'm just trying to be real even though sometimes i wish it wasn't real <laughs> Because one thing I like about going to school is that it's not in my hometown. Because in my hometown, there's legit no one. And that hurts. Because some people claim to be my friend, but I'm like, if you were my friend, you would have at least asked me once these past three going before summer at least once to hang out but that hasn't happened and I see them hanging out with other people I'm like you could have took the time and but you choose you chose not to and you had your reason you have you had your reasons you make a choice every day on what your life will be like And I'm trying to get better at that. But it's hard to do that when you can't enjoy it with anybody. And like I said, sure, I have my immediate family. But I want to branch out. I want to meet new people. I just don't know where to look because I tried going to a different church when like two years ago I went back last year it felt like I was an outcast when I went back and it felt different like it's what I needed two years ago but it's not what I needed last year so that's like really weird for me and I just don't know where to look like I even when I did go to school in my hometown I didn't know I was uh, I didn't know where people hang out I wasn't really invited to hangouts I I found out later that people were still hanging out like the summer of 2020 when I thought everyone was just in their houses and then I see social media posts of everyone hanging out and I'm just like so I'm the only one that didn't get asked anywhere. Great. And you think it will pass, but you think it will happen quicker. I mean, and for some people it does, but for me it's like the fourth year. And sure, my senior year I went to a different high school, but like I said, they're all miles away. At least more than 10 hour drive. And then eh, I knew some people my first year of college, but it, I never really. I had some fun times, but like I said, no one could fulfill one request I had. Not even those who later I found out they did go to church, but they just didn't want to go with me. And so that made me even more not want to go to that church, the closest one. And that sucked. And right now I don't know what to do. Although I do want to meet up with my friend who does live six and a half hours away. But I also don't know how his schedule is like this summer. Hair clip. I gotta start getting ready. Gotta get what? Words? Hi. Soon I got I got soon I got to get ready for the event that I'm going to tonight. I got it in. I got it out. <laughs> it's been a time.